What is up everybody? It's your boy Duty back again with another video. And I wanted to do a part two of the video that I recently posted earlier regarding uh, Phil guilt tripping his den hands into donating. And of course in that video I gave a clip of Phil talking on his podcast yesterday and explaining his definition of guilt tripping someone. And of course I showed some examples of our boy DSP guilt tripping people. <laughs> But it got me thinking, man, there there has to be so many videos out there of our boy DSP guilt tripping the den heads into making him making them donate tips and money and so on. So I thought, let me go down memory lane and see how many times our boy Phil actually uh, guilt tripped his den heads into giving tips and money because of my house. Let's get into the video. When you don't hit tips, you get nasty towards your viewers and you try to guilt trip them. All right. Facts. Here's the difference between guilt tripping and just trying to let people know that something is actually a serious need. All right. Guilt tripping would be, oh, well, don't you guys understand that if you don't tip, all this is going to come apart. I'm not going to make content anymore. I'm going to lose my home. Overnight, it's, it's going away. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Phil, let's level set. So you just said guilt tripping is when someone says, if you don't give me money, I'm going to lose my house. I'm not going to be able to make content, blah, 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 blah. So that's your definition. Those are your words. And you actually have the nerve to say you don't do that. You don't guilt trip people. Okay. Let's go down memory lane and see if that is accurate. That, that's guilt trip. This literally is a situation where I'm in dire financial straits. And if this stands where I'm going to be making half as less money on YouTube as I ever did before, starting now, I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to have all my shit reclaimed. You know, credit card bills are going to go default. I'm probably going to have to declare bankruptcy. I'm going to lose everything. And the fact that I've now been talking to you for a week and a half and you can't get me and any kind of answer, I have every right as a, a, a fucking respectable human adult to go seek help elsewhere. It's your ineptitude is the reason why I have to go seek help elsewhere. And I even said, I said, I wasn't going seeking some department outside of the scope of where I would look for help at Machinima for help. I was going to the head of the partner program who throughout 2015 and 2016 helped me while I stream. So that, that was number one. I'ma lose my house. Help. Help me, I'ma lose my house. That I can be basically focused and happy on what I'm doing and not have this lingering feeling that I may lose my house, I may lose my house, I may lose my house for something that I have nothing to do with. Again, me losing my house. <sighs> All right, folks, I don't really know what else to say in this video. Um, I'm sorry that I can't share more information. Like I said, I just know it would be spun even worse. Yeah, like, I don't know. I wish I could answer your question, Ratchet Fan. And the thing is, if things were looking positive and good this year, I was like, wow, things are on the up and up. We know positivity to Phil means money. So, it, he's just said right now, if, if he was getting more money. If Twitch stays the way it is and, you know, YouTube can stay at a, a constant level, then things will be better for me. And then something else happened behind the scenes that I can't tell you about. And that's what I mean. It's like thing after thing. It never ends. <clears throat> it seriously never ends. Um, to the point where it's so frustrating. It just gets frustrating. Because I know you guys and gals support me. And I know you want to see me keep doing this. You don't want to see me lose my house. You don't want to see me have to move back to Connecticut. You don't want to have weeks and months where I can't even stream because of another fucking move. And then I get there and then things are shitty with the weather. The internet's constantly fucking... The what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He actually just said the weather. He said he has to move. He's going to lose his house. Shitty internet. You know, all this that will interrupt the stream. And the weather. Oh, my Lord. Okay, let's keep going. I know you don't want that. I don't want that. But, you know, life, 
Life has not been kind to me recently. This year in particular was not a good year. Let's say it that way. Um, Streaming-wise, been great. You know, everything on, with YouTube and everything and stream, streaming has been great. For but months, that's been worrying me. You know, worried about if I'm going to lose my house and stuff. I'm going to reveal all of this on today's podcast. I have so much to talk about. I had to take massive notes I've printed out here. I actually suspect this may be the longest and most important podcast I've ever done. Because the importance of some of the topics and stuff we're going to be talking about... <laughs> It's going to be pretty good, all right? But I will say this. Thank you to everyone who is doing supportive things. However, I will be doing shout-outs, but they're going to be between segments. So if I'm talking about a stay up at night, what's threatening that the fact that I might lose my house, okay? I might have to sell it. <clears throat> um, and that was tough, let me tell you guys, because I wanted to tell you guys that for two months, but I didn't have much, if any, information that was concrete at the time. Now I finally had a little bit more information, so I felt that it was the time to share it. And, you know, it was still tough because now, you know, even though I shared it with you, it doesn't mean that the problem solved. It's not. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping that obviously things are going to go well on stream and on YouTube. Maybe people will pledge to Patreon. I don't know. You know, that things will go well and hopefully I can get to a situation where I can get through this issue. All right. And see, you know, if I can make it through this really tough time. Obviously, I don't want to lose my house. Right. Obviously, I don't want to go into financial ruin for the rest of my life um i'm already near there honestly i am you know this year i would have been if it weren't for you guys with your support on streams you know real talk and i was in this position oh my lord he actually said real talk these past couple of months where things were going better because you guys were contributing and everything and i was like wow i might actually get a little bit into the positive and then this fucking thing comes out of nowhere and you know basically just destroys me. I don't even know what else to say. It's like, it's like, finally, I'm in the middle of a clear street and then a fucking semi-truck comes and just runs you right the fuck over. Seriously. It's very disheartening when I've done everything I possibly can to make things work and to turn things around and to stay positive and then something else that's completely out of my control comes to destroy me. It sucks, okay? Everyone, this big looming thing that's been going on behind the scenes, it's not pretty. It's really a big financial issue that could be thousands and thousands of dollars. Hopefully it's not tens of thousands of dollars. I don't think it will be, but, you know, you never know, knock on wood. So, the fact of the matter is, I'm in a pickle. I don't want to lose my house. So I have an idea for something I can do with Patreon in the month of December that I think would actually get people to pledge who don't pledge, who really want to see this idea, all right? <clears throat> that being said, outside of the month of December, December will be the last week, the last month where I do Patreon traditionally the way that I've been doing it this this all along, all right? You might... Now, all of a sudden, I get hit. This all happened, by the way, before I heard, found out about my tax situation, where I owe all these back taxes, and I might lose my house and all this shit. All of a sudden, I get hit with that, and I said, I gotta raise funds. I gotta go I'll pull out all the stops. I gotta do everything possible now to make money, okay? So that's why I'm glad I finished the Super Mario Odyssey playthrough. Now I can move on to doing more profitable stuff. The streaming has been great. I mean, no complaints on my end. If things keep going the way they've been going, I may be out of hot water, all right? Especially if we hit that Patreon goal for this month, the stretch goal, holy fuck, I think we're gonna be good to go. But we have to have all that happen. That's a lot of ifs, okay? Um... stuff out if I'm playing these games, all right? So please, please, folks, consider pledging. If you at all can, I need your support this month. I don't want to lose my house. I want to stay here. I want to be able to keep making streams for you. I want to keep be able to making YouTube videos for you. This bullshit that's out of my control with taxes, you know, that I can't control, and I, there was no way for me to even fucking, you know, prepare or, or even know what was going to happen. I did my due diligence and got screwed for it. Um, please... Consider pledging. Alright, folks. There were many more clips of our boy asking his den heads to save my house. My house. Anyway, this just clearly shows that our boy DSP is nothing but a guilt-tripping beggar. And for him to actually say he never guilt-trips anyone is a lie. I've just shown clip after clip after clip showing our boy DSP lying or maybe he has Parkinson's disease and he can't remember. Either way, our boy is a guilt tripping beggar. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. Crying emojis in the chat, Spamps. <laughs>